One doctor has been prosecuted in the last 40 years. Dr. Sue Mansu and everybody, pro-abortion supporters included, recognised it was a legitimate case of malpractice. No one had any problems with the, with the conviction of Sue Mansu. This law that currently exists, the laws that currently exist, protect women. They protect doctors. They protect New South Wales unborn children. The unforgotten members of this debate. We've had something like 35,000 unborn children being aborted now for nearly 50 years. We've had closer to 2 million unborn children of New, from New South Wales killed in abortion. That has, that has been detrimental to our economy. Politicians, listen, politicians, and we have some great politicians who have spoken here today and some others in the parliament. But politicians won't change this. Politicians won't leave. Politicians will follow. The Gladys Berejiklians, the Brad Hazard, the Jody, all those people, they will follow when you demand pro-life laws. Some things, you all know I'm not averse to action. My reputation depends on the action we got involved in for a long time. I've literally spoken to thousands of women considering abortion. I've heard them all say I have no choice. I've heard many of them say they are being coerced into this. They have no support. They don't know what to do. Hundreds of them accepted our help and kept their unborn children. I've held many babies that were destined for abortion. If they support, women don't consider them. The unborn child in the womb depends on also, not just action, because action on its own won't win. Almighty God, our Lord Jesus Christ told us, only, some demons are only driven out by prayer and fasting. You need to pray. You need to fast. You need to get serious. And when you do get serious, Other people will see that. Other people will be influenced by that. You, you, people here today, you good people that are often at the day of the unborn child every year, you good people that are supporters of all the pro-life organisations here, you are the leaders. You are the ones that will change this. You need to, as our Lord told his apostles, go out to all the world and tell them you. You guys are our advocates. We depend on you. It won't be the media. It won't be the politicians. It will be the average person in the street, the average family members, and there's some great family members. There are people here with 12 children who are out fostering others. There are many great family people here. You're the guys that will impress everybody, that will change hearts and minds.